Hey, what's going on, guys? Bob Curry HD here from School of Glitches, and today I'm going to show you how to complete the whole Easter egg. And if you're watching this on Bob Curry, make sure to go subscribe to my other new channel, The School of Glitchers. So let's get into the video. So the first step you want to do is find the, uh, the little box that has the warden key. In this this case, it's that one right there. I showed you the other place, and then you want to get that. And if you don't know how to get it, go. Uh, I'll leave a link to my other video that has a tutorial on how to get it. So after you've done that, you want to start collecting the plane parts. Um, even though there's no plane part in that, there is one there. They're invisible in theater mode for some reason. And what you want to do is you build the plane at the roof. And if you don't know how to get the roof, you have to use the afterlife mode to jump into a certain building and then jump up and then shock the roof to unlock it. So yeah, after you have... Um, basically unlocked everything I've done uh, now you want to move down to the mines and as you can see you have to unlo unlock this thing with the warden's key at the bottom and then you also have to un unlock this door because you have to run down and grab the key uh, for your second part so after you have grabbed that first part that I showed you and built it what you want to do is come down to the uh, the uniform room where all the body bags are and then you want to shock this thing after you open the thing to the uh, washing machine and then that'll turn it on and then you want to r quickly run back down all these stairs just follow the direction I go and then um, what you want to do is run down the stairs which you want to stop or you don't have to stop but I just paused the video uh, I kept running straight down and you want to memorize the code it's 083 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shock this eight times to get eight and then I'm going to shock this one three times and then it's going to say 60 seconds and then you have to run down the building uh, you have to run down into your left and go pick up the uh, part and as you can see you have to run through this little place right here and then keep running down and then go straight to the left once you get all the way down and then pick up the part it's not glowing again once again but it is in theater mode and after you've done that, come back up the stairs and you want to activate the washer. And then after you've activated the washer, all you got to do is wait for the, uh, the sequence, the drying sequence to uh, finish going. And then eventually there should be a green uniform inside the washer and you want to pick that up, as you can see. And once you pick that up, you want to go build your parts so you can get you so you have uh, enough room to get the next parts so after you've built your parts on the roof uh, by the plane what you want to do is come down to the docks and there should be a place all the way to the right of the docks where you have to come here and that what you have to do is you have to have one friend shock the, uh, the little gate and then you have to have another friend run in and grab it and then after your friend uh, grabs it uh, after you've done that what you want to do is run up to this room with the generators in it and you want to shock those three panels right there with the blue cords leading to it and if you don't do it uh, uh, on your first try it's okay because uh, that leads to get the engine um, which you have to shock the generators to get in otherwise it won't let you in so basically what you have to do to get the generators is come to the warden's office and then go into afterlife mode and then what you want to do is jump up here and instead of going left to shock the uh, the warden's key you want to go right and then down the stairs and then you want to shock that right there and that's going to open the warden's door I don't know if you saw it but my guy ran in uh, or my other guy whatever but as you can see he is uh, right there and um, he's just pointing to where I had to jump to and then um, yeah just run in unlock the door with the warden's key and then grab the engine and then basically all you have to do is come back up and finish the plane so I'm gonna fast forward this here just to make sure that I'm not like doing anything else but, but yeah uh, all you have to do is come back up to the infirmary go upstairs go through the green room and go to the roof build that plane and congratulations guys you completed the easter egg it's uh... it's very easy to do uh, I mean, I basically do every game, it just takes a little while. So yeah, once you get on it, just ride the plane. As you can see, you get on, and then it starts in like 5 seconds or like 10 seconds, I'm not totally sure. 
and yes I have the flaming tomahawk it's awesome so yeah uh, once you start up the plane it's gonna fly you over to this bridge but unfortunately no one escapes alive so you're gonna crash <laughs> basically uh, once you crash on this bridge to get back all you have to do is uh, kill these zombie boss guys that come in at the beginning and uh, right now I'm showing you what achievement you get you get a uh, no one escapes live achievement in mob of the dead 75 gamer score it's pretty awesome I don't think you can actually use the plane a second time though which kinda sucks so you have to make sure you can stay here for as long as you want though so it's amazing over here cause you can uh it's probably the biggest space in the map so good for uh, training zombies and whatever you want to do and yeah once you're done basically step on these chairs to exit alright guys I'm Bob Curry and I'm out I gotta go peace